Hello. If you're in the mood for a guilty pleasure, a, a so bad it's surprisingly entertaining type of film, well, even lambs have teeth, is that film for you? Starring Christian Prout and Tierra Scobie. They play, they play Katie and Sloan. Two young women in their 20s just want to party and enjoy life, want to take a trip to New York. But in order to do that, they have to work on a dairy farm to make enough money. And when they stop at a diner, they are approached by two handsome brothers who just want to show them around town. Of course, they uh, take, they take, the, of course, they go for it because they don't see nothing wrong with it. That turns out to be the worst decision they, these girls could possibly make because they are quickly drugged and held captive and subject to sexual abuse and torture. And their uncle, Katie, and their uncle comes looking for them because they know he has a feeling something's not right. And when they're and when the sheriff who's in on the what what's happening to Katie and Sloan discovers that the uncle's looking for them, they're they they, they overhear that they they're gonna be killed in order not to leave any traces of them. So Katie and Sloan quickly escape. Well, not quickly, but they do escape. And uh, in, instead of driving, instead of just escaping out of there, they decide to uh, take revenge on their tormentors because they also overheard that there will be more girls coming into town. So they and so Katie and Stone end up becoming vigilantes. <laughs> they just really go from f f fun young party girls to psychotic badasses, and they do it. So well. This feels like a film that was written in the 70s, but it was rejected and 40 some odd years later it was it was made into a movie, just very much updated. It's not saying it is that film, but it just kind of feels like that film. It kind of feels like that it's like it's like those those B movies you see in the 70s. <laughs> like I spit on your grave and how and um, the house, last house on the left, yeah, <laughs> it does. It maybe it was trying to be an homage to those films. Even Lambs Have Teeth is a is a guilty pleasure. It's not a masterpiece. It never tries to be. It's it's entertaining, yes. And the two actresses, Christian Pruitt and Tierra Scobie, do very well. They have great chemistry. You get the feeling that they are lifelong friends. It was kind of interesting to see Christian Prout play the kind of wild bad girl. She usually plays the nice girl. <laughs> I mean, she always plays the, the girl who's always doesn't want to get in trouble, but I guess she chose to play the other girl because because nobody would expect her to play this type of girl. And, and Tara Scobie was good. Um, I mean, I'm I mean, I'd say they, they were great in the film together. I sure hope they don't make a sequel. You know, they mess things up when they do make sequels. It's not overly violent. It's violent, but it doesn't go too far. And just when you think it's going to go too far, it kind of pulls back. Maybe because it... Well, it kind of feels edited down because they thought it was too violent and they had to bring it back because they were... They thought it was going to get an X rating, I'm guessing. It's more of a scaled back version of uh, I Spit on Your Grave. Yeah, it is. The guy playing the uncle was pretty good. I mean, showing the concerned uncle kind of feels like it's going in the taken category, but it, then it has a twist around it. And then uh, the bad guys, ooh, they are just particularly very menacing, unlikable. You're just, it's like you can't wait to see. I, I don't want to give anything away. You just, they're just, enjoyably good at being hated these the bad guys if you're in the mood for a good revenge plot that's not a masterpiece and doesn't tug at your heartstring like uh, some films will do i won't give any names i gotta say even lambs have teeth is that film for you so i give it an eight out of ten okay have a 